Hello, welcome back. Did you know you can make calls with this? Or track your packages? Or maybe even drop in on another device using it like an intercom? Well, I'll be showing you a couple tips and tricks on things I do and things you should try with your Alexa show. Hello, welcome to Trader Tech Man. Today I'll be showing you tips and tricks and showing you things you can do with your Alexa show. Let's go ahead and jump into it. First one is called follow up mode. Follow up mode allows you to keep talking to the device without having to wait on them to say okay each time. So Alexa, enable follow up mode. Follow up mode is now on. Now when I say the device, the blue line will still be at the bottom and it will be waiting on the next command. So I'm going to test this out with go through like some quick conversions and just wait on it to spit back the answers. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into it. Alexa, what is 5 plus 4? 5 plus 4 is 9. What's 9 times 10? 9 times 10 is 90. What's 90 times 100? 90 times 100 is 9,000. Alexa, turn off follow-up mode. Follow-up mode is now off. Now, you should know that when you enable follow-up mode, it uh keep listening like 5, 10 seconds after. So if you have like multiple things or you have people in your house talking, it will keep listening. So that's why it's always a good thing to turn it off. So the next one we're going to jump into is going to be how to change the actual wake up word. They allow you to have one wake up word for each device, but you can have them different names. Me, I use in my living room, I use Echo, but in my kitchen, I might use the name Alexa. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the wake up word. Alexa, change wake up word. Okay, you can choose from. Amazon, Computer, Echo, or Ziggy. Which of these do you like? All right, let's go ahead and jump into the next one. The next one is YouTube. Now on here, YouTube does not have an app, but it opens up in a web browser where it's kind of like, it's neat, where you can even search by just saying your voice. Alexa, open YouTube. Here is YouTube. Now while it's open, you could just say its name of your device and just say what you want to search. Alexa, show Trade a Tech Man. Here's what I found. The next one we're going to jump into is Track My Packages. Alexa, where's my packages? A delivery for an order placed today should arrive tomorrow. Now, whenever you're on a different screen and you want to go back to your main screen, all you got to do is say, Alexa, go home. Say you want a recipe and you don't know what you want to make. You can just be like, Alexa, show me recipes with bread. Finding some bread recipes. Okay, for bread, here's a few recipes. Now... On here, they show you different recipes. I'm going to click on Rachel Ray. Now, once you click open it up, if you scroll down the sides, you'll see like they have the ingredients. They show you what to do on here. They also have a video that just loads right up and plays seamlessly. I think that's very neat. Say you don't want to cook. Why cook? Let's find a restaurant. Alexa, show me restaurants nearby me here's information about a few restaurants now on here they show you like the miles what time they open and close they also have the yup reviews and a couple of pictures of their food it's kind of nice i think it's really neat of how they set it up another great feature is what if you're wondering where what time the store close or you need a phone number or something like that you could just say, Alexa, what time does Target close? Target on Kyle Center Drive in Kyle is normally closed at this time and will be open tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Due to the holiday, alternate hours may be in effect. If you need to find a number to a store or... Alexa, what's Walmart's phone number? 
The phone number for Walmart Supercenter, located on Kyle Parkway in Kyle, is 512-268-1451. I think that's a great feature if you try to find out what time the store closed or where it's located. I make sure I use that a lot. Another feature I use... When I'm getting ready in the morning, getting ready for work, and I live out, I work in Austin, so I deal with the traffic all the time. Alexa, how's my commute to work? Right now, traffic to work looks pretty clear. The fastest route takes about 31 minutes via RR 150 and I 35. Instead of worrying about the volume, pushing the button on the top and going mm -hmm. one at each time. I like to lower the volume by just saying, Alexa, turn volume down to zero. Now that I got it on zero, it's time to jump into the next command. The next command will be how to play music on here and have a little sing along, a little karaoke. So Alexa, play Drake. Here's some music by Drake on Amazon. Alexa, mute. For copyright reasons, I've lowered down the song, but if you see, there's actually playing the words, and the song will be playing in the background. So it's a great way to jam on out. Next one will be how to show your security cameras. I have a doorbell ring, so I could say, Alexa, open, show me the front door. Okay. And it connects and I can see who's at my front door. They also have a little mute a mic button right here. So if I want to talk to them, I can. I get a visual of them. They don't get to see me. So it's great. All right, let's jump into the next one. The next one is how to use it like an intercom. It's called drop in. On here, all you got to do is say drop in and the device name that you named it. Alexa, drop in on bathroom. Hello. Hey. Hey, baby. Hey, what's up? Hey. All right. Bye. Bye. And the next one is be how to announce. Now, say you have multiple devices throughout your house, and you might want to announce something like, let's say, dinner time. When you say dinner time, it kind of rings a bell, and it and it broadcasts to all your Alexa devices. Alexa, <laughs> announce dinner time. Announcing. Dinner time. And that went to all the different devices. How to view your calendar. Now, I sometimes use my calendar and sometimes I don't, but I find myself starting to use it a little bit more and more. Now, with this one, I'm gonna go through a little different things with the calendar, but I think it's very useful. So first, Alexa. Show me my calendar. Here's what's on the calendar. Now, as you see, I have like no events here. So I could be like, uh, well, I have one for my son's birthday. But let's say I have nothing for the next few days. So tomorrow is November the 12th here. So Alexa, set an event for November the 12th. Sure. For what time? All day. Sure. And what's the name of the event? Edit YouTube video. I'll schedule edit YouTube video for Friday, November 12th all day. Okay? Great. Okay. I've added that. Alright, so now you can go back. So now I have the YouTube video on the 12th. Now let's go ahead and jump in the next one. The next one will be called shopping list. On here you could create and add stuff to your shopping list. So Alexa, show me my shopping list. Here's your shopping list. Now, as you see, I got bananas on there, garbage bags, bacon, and rice. Uh, you could also put multiple things on here. And it's pretty nice. So Alexa, Add cereal to my shopping list. Cereal added to your shopping list. And you see it just added to the very top. 
very neat. It's great for when we go to the grocery store. We just pull out our phones and then we it just works right there and we already know what we need. Now this is another great one. I call it hands-free calling where say you might be cooking or you're doing something and you don't want to be using your phone or you don't have hands for your phone. All you got to do is say, Alexa, call Trey. Sure. Should I call Trey on their phone? Yes. Calling Trey's mobile. And it's instantly call her. For me, it shows up as a private number because I'm calling myself, but whatever number you have will be the person that they see. My phone is on Do Not Disturb, so it's not going to ring. Alexa, hang up. Okay, sometimes you might be cooking multiple things. Maybe it's Thanksgiving. I don't know. But you might need multiple timers. On here, I like that you could name your different timers and have them set up for different times instead of just using an oven or a microwave and not knowing what the timer is for. So let's jump into that. Alexa, set a timer for chicken for an hour. Chicken timer, one hour, starting now. Alexa, set a macaroni timer for... 30 minutes. Macaroni timer, 30 minutes, starting now. Alexa, set a green beans timer for five minutes. Green beans timer, five minutes, starting now. So I'm pretty sure y'all get the hint that all the different timers will be on here and it's a great way that you'll know what your timer is for when it's done and everything. Alexa. Stop all timers. Canceling all your timers. Another thing I like on here is finding out the weather. So, Alexa, what's the weather today? Currently, in Kyle, it's 51 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies. You can expect more of the same tonight, with a low of 43 degrees. Not bad. How about, Alexa, do I need an umbrella tomorrow? No rain is expected in Kyle tomorrow. Another great thing on here, you could ask it to even show you what's playing in the movie theaters. Alexa, what's playing in the movie theaters today? Here are a few movies playing near you today. Rocky IV, Eternals, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Clifford the Big Red Dog. If you'd like to hear more, ask me to tell you more. So what's... So on here, it's great that you could click on the movies. You can see the show times. You can watch the trailer. It uh, Cinemark South Park Meadows. It shows you different movie theaters when it's gonna be playing. I think it's very great. Oh, on here, you great. can see everything. It's a uh, fair price for that village. Two hundred. I just need that village clear today, all right? Now, an another thing you could do is say like you're undecided. Should we eat sushi or should we eat barbecue tonight? Well, you could say, let's say sushi is heads and barbecue is tails. Alexa, flip a coin. Heads. So sushi it is. That's what we'll be having tonight. If you're undecided, you could also like, Alexa, pick a number one through ten. Here's a number between 1 and 10. It's 7. Thank y'all so much for watching Trade Tech Man. Please hit that like button and that subscribe button. Until next time, bye.